you've ever wondered where minor seven chords come from, they come from here, deep in here. If you've ever wondered how to make minor seven chords and where to use them, you have come to the right place. Because today it's all about minor seven. Now, two of the probably most common minor seven chords you'll ever see are A minor being turned into an A minor seven by just lifting your ring finger up, or E minor being turned into an E minor seven. So you might think that minor seven means you just kind of take something away from a chord, but no, that is not true. We're actually adding something. And the definition is we are adding the seventh note of the minor scale to a minor chord. So what I mean by that, and that's what I'm going to use an example, is going to be the key or the scale of A minor, right? If you don't know how to come about the scale of A minor, there is a link to a video in the description that maybe you should watch first. But we're going to start right here on the fifth fret of the E string. Now the shape to make A minor is this. Five, seven, eight, five, seven, eight, five, seven. Now the notes there are going to be A, B, C, D, E, F. It's not necessary that you know the names of the notes, it helps a lot, but we're going to number them. So instead of just A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, it's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That means we can use these same rules and techniques and everything on any single note. It doesn't have to be an A, it could be a G. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Those are going to be different notes, but all the same stuff is going to apply. So, to make a minor chord, first of all, we take the A, we take the third note in the scale, which is a C, A, C. We're going to take the fifth note, one, two, three, four, five. There's an E. We have an A, a C, an E. Now we're going to add the seventh note. In this case, A, B, C, D, E, F. Seven is G. So A, C, E, G. In fact, before we do the shapes, let's actually just look at this as an arpeggio. We can always replace an A minor chord with an A minor arpeggio. And another A. So A, C. Any combination of those four notes is going to give you an A minor 7 chord. So let's learn some different voicings set on different strings. Now again, here's the most common one right here. An A minor chord with an open G string. Now, that's great for A minor, but what if we wanted to make a B minor? You can't really just move it down two frets like this. Kind of a cool chord, not technically a B minor. We would need to take the open notes with us. So where open would be on G and A in this shape. To move it down to a B, we'd have to root here and make it here. So this shape might be really familiar with you for like a B minor. B minor seven. C minor, C minor seven. So the root note is gonna be on the A string in this particular voice. Now another really good one is if you root it on the E string. So the fifth fret on the E string is an A. Now, you may be used to a bar chord like this. Without your middle finger, that's a A minor bar chord. What you can do is you can just pop your pinky up, which is essentially when you have that E minor, making it an E minor 7. So another voicing here is 5, 7, 5, 5, 5, 5. Now, that can be kind of difficult, you know? It depends on the action of your guitar and stuff. It can be kind of hold, hard to hold down all the stuff. So another really good one is this right here. Essentially the same thing, but we're just kind of cutting out the A string. So I have 5E, I'm skipping the A string. And you notice if I play it like this with my middle finger, my middle finger is naturally resting and muting the A string so I can't hear it. Because if it were to hold it down, that's what it doesn't sound good. That's not a minor seven chord, we have a D in that. We don't want it either. So right here I'm getting five, skipping the A string, muting the A string, five, five, five. So you can kind of do like a little root chord thing with this here, like. A minor 7 to A sharp or B flat minor 7. B. So, another good voicing right here. Uh, if we ever wanted to root it on the D string, a third voicing for a minor 7, we would just find this A. We could octave down 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and root it right here with an A. We're going to make a power chord, but we're going to make it with our pinky, and then get these two. Pretty cool voicing right here. So I've got 7D, 9G, 8 and 8 on B and E. So we've got three voicings so far. We have an open A, A string root voicing, or same thing, an E string root voicing, and then we have a D string root voicing. Okay? 
Uh, and again, we have an arpeggio that goes with this. So we can replace, anytime there's an A minor, we can replace it with one of these other voicings. And the arpeggio is as here. One, three, five, seven, octave. If we wanted to go across two octaves of this, it's really easy. The second octave would be a so, the frets on the strings would be 5, 8, 7, 5, 7, 5, 5, 8, 5. But, the shape is more important than the frets, because if we wanted to root it on a different one, if we wanted to do a, like a D, like a 10th fret, we could just do the same shape. Okay, and these can replace chords. Now, now we know how to make a minor 7, when do you use a minor 7 chord or shape? And the beauty of minor 7 chords, no matter what key you're in, if it's a minor chord, it can be turned in to a minor 7 chord. Now, the formula would be like in any key, right? Like say you're in the key of C major, there's seven notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, whatever. The first, fourth, and fifth notes in that key become major chords. The second, third, and sixth chords become minor chords. If that just blew your mind and you don't know what that means, there's another link in the description on basic music theory and how to use the notes in a scale to make chords. But if you understand that the second, third, and sixth chords, or notes in a scale, become minor chords, then turning them into minor seven chords is just one note extended beyond that. So, let's just take the key of C, for example. We have seven notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B. On a guitar, it'd be C, D, E, F, G, A, B, and another C. Now, the second note in the key of C is a D. The third note is an E. Four is F, five is G, and the sixth note is A. So there are three minor chords in the key of C. A minor being the six, E minor being the three, and D minor being the two. Now, I'm sure you probably already know those chords. A minor, E minor, D e minor. Now, within the rules of music theory, any of those, if you added the next, the seventh number from that first number in the key, would give you a minor seven chord. So anytime you see a minor chord, you can replace it with a minor seven chord or arpeggio. For example, let's use some of the, the shapes we already learned. So we've got A minor, this open A minor. Let's replace that with this. So instead of going That was an A minor, E minor, D minor, A minor progression. We could replace that with this A minor. And instead of going to this E minor, we can find the E on the A string, the seventh fret. So we've got A minor. Move that back to the D. Now if you notice, I just replaced the whole chord with a little arpeggio run. I didn't even do anything fancy, I just went up, one, three, five, seven, octave, and back. So instead of A, B, e, D, A, we've got A minor seven. E, back to D. Arpeggio. There you go. Minor seven chords, shapes. Use them, abuse them, do whatever you want. There it is.